Hello, in this video we're going to talk about some imaging concepts related to print size and resolution and we're going to relate that to uh, inserting images into posters. In general, if you want a very high quality print, an art print that you might want to uh, frame, uh, then you're going to want a resolution of at least 300 pixels per inch. However, for a professional poster that you're going to present at a conference, you don't really need quite that high of a resolution. Generally speaking, a 200 pixels per inch should be adequate for a poster. Here is an image on the screen right now. Now, notice that up in the title bar, this says that this is being displayed at 25%. So the first thing that's important to keep in mind is that the way the image appears on your computer screen is not necessarily the size that it's going to appear when you print it because that's all uh, very much uh, related to the the resolution of the image. Now um, if I zoom in on this image the number of pixels is not changing I'm just zooming in so now you can see I'm at a uh, at a hundred and a hundred percent let's uh, take a look at the image size dialog box this is where you can make adjustments to the size and the resolution of your image this particular image is actually a pretty good size for a poster uh, it's um, currently a document size of 10 inches by about seven and a half inches and a resolution of 177. Now um, if you click resample this is what allows you to either add or subtract pixels from your image. Normally you only want to sample down. You're not going to typically want to resample up. In other words you don't want to add pixels to your image just to increase the resolution because you're artificially increasing the resolution that way and that's really not going to do you any good. The situation in which you were most likely uh, going to want to sample down uh, or reduce the number of pixels would be if you have a high resolution image that you want to put on the web. Because the web is a low resolution uh, uh, medium, you may not, uh, you may have too many pixels to display the image at the size that you want. But for printing, for uh, for print media, uh, it's not very likely that you would want to sample down or reduce the number of pixels in your image. What I recommend you do in most cases is turn off resampling. And then let's take a look at this uh, document size area of the dialog box. There is an inverse relationship between the document size uh, or the print size and the resolution. What I mean by that is if we increase the resolution, the print size will go down because the pixels will be smaller. If we decrease the resolution, the print size will get larger. So let's uh, just take a look here. If we change this resolution to 400 pixels per inch, now our document size is only about four and a half by three and a half inches. So what you want to do when you're getting ready to insert a picture into your poster is you want to make sure the print size is what you want but what's most important here is that you want to be sure that when you make the document the size that you need, so let's say we want this to be 8 by 10, well there's 7.5 by 10, that the resolution is still acceptable. Now this is 177 pixels per inch which is marginal, but um, if you start off with a pretty good original image, um, this should this should be okay. Uh, however, it's it's marginal. Let's say we wanted to crop this image, however, and we realized we only wanted this part of the image. Okay, so I'm going to crop this image like this. And now, if we go to the image size dialog box, 
we will see that now this image is only 5 by 4. And if we wanted this to be 8 by 10, we now only have a resolution of about 100 pixels per inch. And this is not going to look very good on our poster. So one thing you need to keep in mind uh, when you're working with images is that if you crop the image uh, a lot then and you still want to print it at a large size the resolution is going to go down so that's one reason why it's good to start with a high resolution image because that gives you a little more room to maneuver in case you want to uh, in case you want to crop your image well I hope this has helped uh, to clarify some of these concepts about um, uh, image size and resolution. I know it's a little bit confusing. If once you kind of get a handle on these concepts, um, things like Photoshop start to make a lot more sense. And I hope this has been useful.